Well, good morning, friends, and welcome to this morning's Bible reflection. This morning, I'd like to return to John's Gospel, and this time, John chapter 1, verses 15 through to 19. I'd like to share these verses from Scripture, and as before, just to offer a, a few words of commentary, and I hope of encouragement on them afterwards. Beginning verse 15 in chapter 1. After breakfast, Jesus asked Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, Peter replied, you know I love you. Then feed my lambs, Jesus told him. Jesus repeated the question, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, Peter said, you know I love you. Then take care of my sheep, Jesus said. A third time he asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. He said, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you, Jesus said, then feed my sheep. I tell you the truth, when you were young, you were able to do as you liked. You dressed yourself and went wherever you wanted to go. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and others will dress you and take you where you don't want to go. Jesus said this to let him know by what kind of death he would glorify God. And Jesus told him, follow me. We give thanks to God for our verses from scripture. May God add his blessing to our hearing of his word. What does it mean to be a Christian? What does it mean to be a disciple of Christ? For so many, in so many different parts of the Christian family, we are told that it means we have to accept certain doctrines or creeds to sign up to this or that confession of faith. These things may be helpful. They may help us to deepen our understanding of the Christian faith, but I cannot but wonder whether they are essential. It's not what Jesus asked us to do. He never told us to sign any confession or to proclaim any creed. He did, however, give a clear instruction to Simon Peter and through him to us. He told him that he should care for others and he gave him two words follow me so my message this morning friends is we should be particularly attentive to those two words that we should follow christ today we should seek to walk in his footsteps that we should act and talk as he would want us to do and by our deeds and by our words let us speak of his divine love if we could do that much today then as in previous days we would be doing well god bless you for being with us thank you for being with us and i look forward to you joining us again tomorrow. Have a good day and Amen.